What is going on YouTube? We're, We're back. in Fairmont. Gonna bring you another ice report. And guess what? I'm back. Aaron's back. <laughs> you don't have to look at my ugly mug all the time anymore and listen to me talk the whole time. We got my, we got him back. It's been great. <laughs> oh yeah. A little longer in the hospital than we wanted, but mom and baby, we're all home. Everyone's doing good. So, thumbs up to that. Um, we did have a girl. So, I got a house full of girls and they all love to fish. So hopefully little Jenna likes to fish just like her sister. It'll be fun. <laughs> Should be fun. <laughs> Should be fun. Another, Definitely. Another mini legend. Perfect. Definitely. <laughs> but today is Wednesday. We are, yeah. Well, we've yeah. been here so much that we figured our day. <laughs> it's been yeah. all, with this short season and everything going on, every day's been clumped together. But yeah, it is Wednesday. Yeah. Wednesday already, February 7th. February 7th. Yep. I got it. There we go. February 7th. <laughs> so and the ice, I mean, for the most part, is looking pretty good. It's holding up a lot better than a lot of people had figured. The edges are definitely going to be the weakest point. Yep. They're, they're retreating. They say it's too warm and they need cold weather. Which, looking like Friday night into the weekend, we're going to get a couple lows in the 20s. And as much as we've been on the ice this year, it's crazy. We had that one night that got to 24 and the edges. Every spot that I had broke through walking or, you know, with the snow dog going out, every spot I broke through had refroze and was able to drive right over it. So if we get that, you know, we might, you know, hang on and hopefully continue into the next week, which would be great. Yes, definitely. We are at the boat launch here at Gumdrud, Gumdrud. Park. Gumdrud and figure we'd show you what the shorelines look like here this is uh they're, this is, they're this, pretty this, open this is, this is opening up nothing uncommon for with the warm temps with the cement and stuff like that there will be spots you can access and get on obviously you're going to want to walk if you're coming out i wouldn't recommend any wheeler traffic i mean that's you know we have a snow dog thankfully that's been saving our butts as we keep talking about because that's pretty light and get around but I would use your Lamborghinis, you know, this weekend if you plan on going out, because that's going to be the best way. But not far to walk to find fish, you know, things like that. So, but you'll have different spots to act. You know, stepping from that, you see that on the edge there. But then you get out here. Now this white ice, if you're out here walking and doing things. This white ice is what you're going to look for. Any spot that you see, any kind of white ice, don't just trounce right through it. I would probably bring my spud bar and treat this like late ice, you know, like we should, just in case, because some of those spots, uh, we were on Amber Lake uh, checking that out, and we found a spot that was out in the, you know, out by the point there, um, and that spot was bad. Like, I wouldn't have wanted to even walk on it. You know, I got next to it and saw it, and it was like, no, you want to stay away from that. You know, the ice there on the edge was really, I put my cleat kind of in it and dug through it really good, so I'd stay away from that, but just pay attention to those white spots on the ice. Don't just be barreling through them. You know, when you're coming back, maybe don't fish till dark. That'd be very important right now. You know, come out, come back off the lake before it's dark, just so you don't get disoriented and walk into something you're not seeing, stuff like that. You know, that's that's very important. But we are very excited with what's going on because right now it's about 11:30, quarter 12, and this wind. You know, the wind's been bad, but it's been helping. It's keeping things cool. You know, the sun's not out, so it's not beating on the ice. You know, when he pans out on the ice, and you see there, it's not shiny and slippery. It's not really melting too bad. There's some spots you can see a little bit, but she's holding on on very well. So let's uh, we'll walk out here and drill a hole for these guys. Mm -hmm. Well, and when we're drilling, it's gonna it did harden up on the top side a little bit, and then you're drilling it drills pretty pretty consistent. I mean, it's nothing that scares me. I mean, we found some ice in Iowa that we were trying yesterday, kind of checking some lakes, and that ice was bad. Like it was, we didn't even go out on it. You know, it was, it's gone. I mean, it, I don't even know if it'll come back. We'll see what happens in the cool down, but that was some scary, what I call it, styrofoam looking ice, where it was just, you put the auger to it and big chunks come up and it just wasn't something that I was comfortable with being out on. You know, it was still seven inches of ice, but I bet you only two and a half inches of it was strong enough, you know, good enough ice to be on. And that's weak. We don't, we don't want to have anybody falling through. <laughs> no, no. But this stuff here we're walking on, you know, good solid yet we haven't really lost much ice to be surprising <laughs> on these warmer days and you know it's wednesday tomorrow maybe a little rain we'll see what that does that's kind of got got us on edge to see what the rain does but 
we'll be back Friday to kind of talk to you about that and see see the changes on that and see if it changed anything for the weekend but I don't foresee it taking the ice off it's just gonna be our edges you know like this stuff here I can tell you're gonna want to watch that stuff you can kind of see over there kind of where there's been holes drilled you can kind of see the water sitting in that hole you know that's something we're seeing what the wind is it's kind of opening up holes so when you're walking you're gonna have to watch out for those holes you know some of them might be big enough open up big enough for your foot to go in you know you might not go all the way through but you're gonna have to watch out for that stuff. Like I said, you gotta treat this like your late March ice and look at that white ice because you know you can kind of see, you just don't wanna be barreling through this and check it and make sure that it's not sagging on you. If you see any water sitting on it at all, you know, get away from it, go around it. You know, you don't wanna walk there because it's probably maybe open or just has a little bit of an issue where the water's sitting. But you know, just keep that in mind, but don't let that deter you from coming out and fishing, but you're just gonna have to treat it like it's late, late season. Yeah. So. Well, we'll get across this. And here, we'll get across this too. See how much softer that is. <laughs> but we'll get out here, we'll drill a hole. So the biggest thing, you're not seeing any gigantic chunks of ice coming up as we're cutting. Get a few here and there, but you're not getting big chunks. Well, and it's, I mean, you get a little bit of honeycombing, but it's still, for the most part, fairly solid. Yep. And you look down there and you can see there's not a ton of heavy white, white ice. You know, you still got the clear, good ice yet, so you know that's better stuff to have there. All right. So there, measuring to the top, I got 10. 10? Maybe 11, you know, but to the edge of the water, about 10 and a half. But we'll call it 10, just to be on the safe side. But yeah. Like I said, we don't really want people to be, you know, here 10 inches and be like, oh, I'll bring my four wheeler, yeah. or I'll do this. No. Like, I just, this ice it's, isn't strong enough for that. Yeah. You know, the As snow. You can, I mean, you look at the, the little lines in the ice, and you can tell that it's not as strong. Yes, it's starting to honeycomb. Foot traffic is still able to get you out here fishing, but 10 inches. I would say it's probably acting more like five inches. Yeah, I, that's why I just wouldn't want to, yeah. you know, our snow dog is able to go on stuff that we can't even walk on. So that thing's the profile of that makes it so it can go. But, you know, four wheelers, I mean, it's it's your own choice. But as far as we're concerned, I, it's a no go for us on any big machine at this point because it just won't be worth it. You know, the fish aren't far to walk to. I mean, you can go anywhere, you know, over this way or out in front of the water treatment plant. We'll show you that a little bit later here. But all those areas, you know, it's not a far walk and you can find fish and get on them and hopefully they'll be biting for you. For sure. Well, head over to probably Hall and then go over to the water treatment. Yes, sir. All right, we're well, we're at Hall and kind of right across from the park where uh, we, most people walk out. I say we usually go down by the Channel Inn, but yep. that's where everyone drives out. So we don't figure that's gonna happen, but kind of show the easiest access for the public for walking, so. Yes, yes. And just like on Bud, you know, shorelines. They're, the they're coming apart, for. but you go from here, take a step. And it's solid. <laughs> the wind's still keeping it cool, but yeah. Said the next couple days are going to be the rough ones, and we get to Friday and get that little bit of low, and it should kind of harden things back up. I don't know how long the shorelines are going to take, but there's some lows in the 20s. I think Sunday, Mondays, a couple lows in the 20s, so that would really, really help. <laughs> really help us, for sure. That stuff, any spot where there's been any rocks or anything, like you see that's heated up, you got to watch out for that stuff. You know, that, that's, you're not going to go through all the way, but you just got to kind of pay attention, like we're saying, is you know, you got to treat this like the late, late ice. And we can't just barrel out and just go where you want to go. You got to really be take precautions, bring all your safety stuff out, make sure you got your ice picks, your float suit, everything on, bring the spud bar along just to check in front of you, things of that nature, just because, you know, it, it, it's 
It's only February, the first week of February, but unfortunately these temperatures make it feel like late March. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it is what it is and we're dealing with it, but thankfully here in Fairmont, this ice has been, you know, the best ice around, I guess. We've had really good ice, been able to keep things going and hopefully we'll hang on these next couple of days and go into the weekend and still be fishing. Definitely. All right. I don't know if I'll put it up there before this clip or during this clip, but we did send the drone up so you can kind of see the lake a little bit, different white spots. I didn't fly it too much because it's very windy out here and I don't want to lose a drone like Lucas. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't let me touch it. <laughs> you know, we're still in search of that thing. I'm going to find it. <laughs> we might be doing a little uh, trolling with some big hooks here in the spring, but I'm going to get her. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding, I can't do that, but I'd love to. We'll see. <laughs> but this lake, you know, Hall doesn't have near as much of the white spots or the white ice, especially, you know, when you're walking out here. I mean, now we go, we're not far from shore and everybody knows how big of a cut this has. So now we're probably standing, I would say we're pretty much standing close to where the drop off is. When we go oh, from, yeah. Yeah, we're probably in 14. We're probably in 14, 14 15. Yeah, you, know, you know, and that's not far at all to go out and you can find a lot of fish in these areas and get out. You don't have to be far from shore. So kind of an option for you guys if you're looking for a short walk and you know, finding fish out here, so. Definitely. All right, yeah. I want to get out a little ways. I don't want to, you know, we don't want to be drilling holes real close to shore because it doesn't really tell anybody anything when you go, <laughs> go 50 feet out and drill a hole. So we want to make sure we get out of here, way. All right, well, it'll be a good spot as any. As you guys can tell, that drilled a lot better in my eyes than Bud did. So I would say right here off the hall, there's better ice. There's no... I don't know how thick it is yet. We'll measure it, but it was a lot more shavings over here versus on Bud. It was a little chunky at times. So you're looking at about seven and a half right here. So yeah, less ice, but better ice. Yes, I mean this is still pretty good stuff. Yeah. So another yep. reason why you know this is probably the least amount of ice I've seen out here since we've been out here. So that's another reason why we've said with the you know wanting to drive stuff out, just don't even think about it. <laughs> you know, it just wouldn't be necessary. You know, foot traffic only. Get through these get through these warm couple days and then we'll see if it cools back down and everything hardens back up and maybe just maybe we'll be able to get some wheelhouses back out. I know it was unfortunately everybody only got to bring their hard shacks out for about a week and that stinks and I know everybody's probably wanting to try it again so we'll see what happens but you know fingers crossed we're supposed to get some pretty good cool temps coming up and hopefully that happens and gets everything going. But like I said, seven, seven and a half right here, but it's good solid ice and or cuts better. You know, like I said, you got the fine finer shaving so it's not honeycombed as bad as the rest of the stuff you've seen so that's good and like I said it's not far to walk out here get out here and we're only about maybe 100 yards offshore if that if that 75. yeah maybe so I mean it's it's definitely an easy walk and this is deeper water right here so it's you know be able to find fish and kind of if you want to venture further you can it's up to you I mean like I said just be cautious and check and Check and check and check. That's the biggest thing. Don't get comfortable out here. Like we always say, you know, no ice is safe ice. I know <laughs> yeah. we sound like a broken record, but we have to keep saying that. You can never, ever be out here and not be on your toes and paying attention to what's going on because it changes by the hour, especially when you have these warmer temps. You know, you come out in the morning and everything's solid, but then by mid-afternoon, things start getting wetter, get things get softer. softer. As I said on Bud, you know, I would probably try to get off the ice before dark just so you can have a good route and yeah. not get get disoriented and maybe walk into a spot that's bad you know that that's the main things and like I said have all your good equipment with you don't forget your float suits have all your late ice stuff with you treat it that way and should have a good time out here yeah well and if you're planning a trip if you're gonna come and fish like a half a day I would personally plan on being here early and fish the morning mm-hmm then you get off the ice, everything's still light. It hasn't been the warmest time of the day. Your ice should still be plenty solid, which, I mean, we'll come up and check things out tomorrow. 
hopefully we get a report out Friday. Um, if everything's good, we have guided trips on Friday, so we'll be up here anyways. We'll sneak away and get at least a little something out for you guys so you know what it's like going into the weekend. Yeah, we know everybody's itching. It's been a short season and haven't had, you know, it's been tough and people have been thinking, you know, people have been saying, oh, the ice is completely junk and don't go fishing and yada, 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 get the boats out. Well, we've still been fishing. <laughs> you know, don't be afraid to go out and check yourself. You know, there's yeah. still places that have fishable ice and just be careful, you know, get out there, be careful, be on your toes, Yeah. pay attention, you know, things like that. But there's still ice that has survived. You know, we didn't get near the snow here in Fairmont. They said we checked those lakes in Iowa and they had more snow on the ice. And so therefore yeah. now it's just not that good, if not good at all in my eyes. But yeah. no. some people were out we on it. We checked some lakes and wanted to do some more fishing in Iowa yesterday, but we decided against it because we didn't feel comfortable. So. I, I could predict that some of those may be opening up in spots there in the next couple days as bad as that ice was. I mean, yeah. we had seven inches of honeycombed garbage. <laughs> I yes. mean, we were out there and it's like we drilled a hole and we're done. We're out of here. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah. It's not even worth the yeah. time because, you know, yeah, we could walk on it, but I mean, it's soft. It's just really soft and sagging. And we found cracks that had opened up, things like that, where you could literally, I could look down and see the bottom in the crack <laughs> where, yep. where we were standing. It's like, well, I guess we don't have drill holes. We could fish the crack, but we, we decided different. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now it was best to get off of that water. Yeah, and thankfully Definitely. here in Fairmont, we haven't seen anything. I mean, there's some spots. Like I said, you got to right. be careful. You know, I mentioned the one on Amber. Amber has probably a six inch average ice. It's a little yeah. less, but it's pretty good yet. You know, it's not honeycombed yeah. quite as bad either. So that's good. And like I said, we were out there this morning early, just looking at things. And earlier this morning, everything from yesterday to today, a lot of things changed for the good. You know, it hardened right. back up. It must've got cold enough last night to, you know, harden things up a bit more this morning. And honestly, the ice drilled better this morning than it did yesterday. Oh, yeah. So it's yeah. kind of crazy how it that did. happened, but. For sure. So over to the treatment plant. Yeah, we'll go check out the water treatment plant. All right. We haven't got off a haul yet. <laughs> um, just wanted to show you a spot here just out from the beach see how this ice is a little bit more white than the rest and you can see some cracks coming out that right there is an old hole that somebody drilled no yes. big deal they drilled it that's fine fishing here maybe maybe not but either way you know the water and the runoff and stuff melted crap sorry <laughs> my bad <laughs> Jeez. way to go okay, it's not for kids now anymore sorry but yeah so that going in there is really widening that hole out and that's kind of the stuff that we talk about you got to watch out for because the wind you know you have any open water with the wind and that's your big enemy there because the wind pushes that water and really eats to that ice pretty fast so that's that's why i'd say you know coming off at, at night you know you might not see that right and you can walk right in and that's i, mean, I, I mean, can fit my foot in that bad boy and I, I don't know how close I want to get to it, but... Look at the bubbles coming up. <laughs> yeah, you can see the bubbles coming up there. And like, well, that is, yeah, I mean, that, you could probably fall through that. You'll oh, yeah. end up in there. Yeah, you would definitely fall in there. I'm so, not getting any closer. No. So you can, mean, the water's kind of calmed out. I'm bouncing on the ice here. And you can see it jiggling. So it's it's not that strong, but it's just this little area right one spot i mean that's what happens right. when you get when you get melt and run off and things the water finds a spot to go and that's what yep. happens so that's why we say you got to watch out where you're going and you know pay attention and like i said maybe not leave the ice quite as dark if you're going to fish that way or don't come out early early in the morning before the sun's up just in case if you haven't been out here and don't know where these spots are yep. this one's right offshore pretty kind of right here not far probably 30 40 yards off the shore so. yeah Maybe there was a maybe there was a rock there, something that fell through. We don't really know. It could have been a rock, something like that. But that's you know the rock. Anything heats up, and that's what happens. But we just seen that walking back, and we figured we'd kind of show you what to look out for and why we're saying you know what we're saying. Things like that can happen. Absolutely. Well, uh, all right. Let's go to water treatment plant now. Sounds good. <laughs> well, we're over at the treatment plant. And edges, uh, we're standing in water. Oh my god. Oh no, we're standing in water. Yeah, no, the edge is actually on this side. Yeah. I mean, other than this one soft spot, I'm not sure. Obviously, a lot of people coming down traffic got soft water sitting here. But there's ice underneath of it that's still solid. I mean, it's not sagging, and both of us are standing side by side, and we haven't yep. sank yet, so that's good. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
Yeah. But I mean, that's what you got here. There's kind of a little heave behind us there. You can kind of see that. But yeah. you know, really, well, for what this is, I mean, it looks a lot better than the south end. Walk out a little bit here. This ice looks a lot better than that one too over there. Oh boy. A lot stronger than what we had. That's that's a lot. That's a lot better than a lot that. more oh, firm is. than the south end of bud. That's good. Definitely. Because there is, you know, there's more accesses here. There is another access on the north end of bud. It's a one-way street, so there's not much parking, but you know, you can access there from Bird Park as well. And then that's not a very far walk to get out on fish that way. So just remember that. Absolutely. Things like that, that white ice. Careful with that stuff. Yes. <laughs> this right here. Turn the camera around. Only have two hands. Careful with that stuff. And then obviously remember you know, the water treatment plant. They got the tile running in over there. There's a yes. sandbar over there. There's right a tile over there. Over there. You know, if you're gonna venture that way, just stay out. Of, you know, stay out away from it. You'll be all there right. There is. I think I'm in the right spot. Right <laughs> there is open water at that tile. Yeah. Over there. Yep. That's where the a lot of runoff comes in. Not a huge deal, but just remember it's there because it does. It's always usually open all year round, most of the time. So, and then there's a sandbar there, so it kind of heats up and could open up more. So there's probably some thinner ice there. So, just uh, keep that in mind. Yes, absolutely. So. And there is a little difference between white ice and ice that still kind of has a little bit of snow on it that looks like white ice. Yep. So just be cautious where you're at. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, we, No we, ice is safe ice, once again. Yeah, we, we've stressed that a lot, but we just want to get that, you know, we do this to show you what we're, we're seeing. You know, we're, we're just showing you what we got out here. It's up to you to decide if you want to come out. And it's up to you to be safe as you possibly can be coming out on this ice to hopefully catch a bunch of fish. Absolutely. And well, we just want to show you guys because we don't want you to be like, oh no, we're not going ice fishing anymore and all this stuff because it's been a short season and uh, well, we, we need these yellow bass caught. So we need to get people out here and get them <laughs> <Yeah>. going. <laughs> yeah. But I like this, this ice is much better. Yes. And like I said, Definitely. this is a big drop off too. So we're standing in probably 17 to 20 foot of water right out here. Yeah. It's not far to find that hole. You can look at your lake map and see kind of where it is and where the brake lines are. You know, Aaron and I, that's what we're always looking for is just different, different depth changes, things like that to find these yellows. They're just roaming all the time, roaming like perch. So if you're looking for them, and like we said before in a lot of our videos, if you get on fish and you have a bunch under you and they won't bite, you know, get, get, get away from them. Go find some more because those ones probably aren't going to be that active. You know, look for schools that are really high up off the bottom and those usually are going to be your most active and aggressive fish to where you can put big piles on the ice. So, yeah. All and, right. And not necessarily like high up off the bottom where there's a gap between the school and the bottom. What we're talking is kind of like a cone. Yep. It, it really Maybe looks... we shouldn't have said that. But oh, we no. want you guys oh, to catch fish. We want people to catch fish. You know, I know people come out and they just... They get out here and they see a big pile of fish and they sit on them for hours upon hours and they're like, oh geez, we only caught 30, which isn't bad, but right. you know, that's still I mean, fun. It's still 30 fish. But it How isn't many times the... do you go out fishing just in general where it's, well, I caught one fish today. I caught five today. I mean, you know, it's not a bad day. One thing I can say is, is just getting out and fishing is what it's all about. It doesn't, yes. the catching is a bonus, but who cares? I mean, as far as getting out here, having a good time, getting outdoors, Get your family out. I mean, that's what Absolutely. it's all about. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Well, let's see what this is like. Much more ice. And better, way better. Way better. Looks a lot nicer than that did over there, so. <laughs> yeah. Quite a bit like, thicker too. You know, it's not hard to access this from, you know, parking the parking no. lot. I know the parking lot's not very big, no. so it might be full. That could be right. one problem, but, but it's kind of an easy walk to deeper water. And I got 10, 10, 10 inches. And like I said, that's a lot, a lot better. That cut a lot harder. There was a couple little pockets in there. You're going to have that, you know, this ice with the warming temperatures because the water's soaking in, kind of making veins in the ice like the honeycombing, but it's not, 
bad honey coming. We're not sagging. You know, the ice isn't moving. Any of that bad stuff. So good to see. Really good to see for what it's been through. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for I mean, sure. I'm sure a lot of people are like, how are you guys still ice fishing? I get asked that a lot. Like, <laughs> everywhere I go, how's the ice? How's the ice? Well, we're still fishing. <laughs> yep. Yep, we are. It's good enough for us anyways, but, you know, that's your discretion on what you want to do, and that's why we're here. That's why we're showing you these things. Season didn't start till late, so you got to get everything in. Got to do our best. I mean, obviously, <laughs> once again, safety, safety, safety. We're not going to yes. do anything. We're never going to take our clients out. I mean, that's why we waited so long to get started. You know, we didn't have a lot of you know, good ice that first weekend. We were supposed to get rolling, so we had to reschedule, 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 and then we were in the middle of January. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's crazy how that works. It is, but here we are. We're out here still. You know, we got March-like temperatures or late March, April temperatures, and this ice is still hanging in there. Just got to get through tomorrow and see what Friday brings. You know, then we're going to cool down, and hopefully it'll harden everything back up, and then we'll make it into March. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Fingers <laughs> like said, crossed. That's there's been a lot of crossing fingers. There has here. been a lot of crossing fingers for sure, but uh, yeah. you know, we're just happy we're still to be able to come out here and stand on the ice. <laughs> some people aren't that fort fortunate. I mean, you go further north, some of those places got more snow, and their ice isn't good either. Some of the clients we've had, they've said their ice was eight inches or less, and it was going fast. So yeah. thankfully, we were blessed in this area to not have the snow and got that really good cold spell that made some good hard ice so hanging in there. Definitely. For sure. Well, with that being said, um, as always, thank you guys for watching each and every one of the videos. Uh, we do have a banger of a video coming up. Yes, stay tuned for that one. Yes, <laughs> it'll be fun. I, I want as many comments on there as possible. I want to see what you guys have to think about that. We finally just <laughs> sat down and had some time as we haven't got to do it as normally we're scouting so we're just looking at schools of fish. We fish them for a little bit, see if they're active. If they're active, okay, we get away from them. We know yep. they're there. You know, that's kind of how we're doing things, but now we finally got to sit down on a big school of fish and we kind of challenged ourselves to see how many we caught, but just stay tuned for Definitely. that video. It's coming up. It's going to be a lot of fun. That it will be. Lots of smiles, lots of laughs, lots of missed hook sets. It's good stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Count the, count the missed hook sets for me. Uh, also, I uh, may have said something about doing a fun little giveaway with that one too. So yeah. we'll see where that goes. I see what you think of that. that. You know, it involves uh, oil and fish. So I guess you can <laughs> go from there with that one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Because we have hit 2,000 subscribers and we are so excited about that. We appreciate yes. that, guys been great you know we haven't been at this very long so we're getting a lot of support and you guys can keep us going and we're just loving every second of this it's been so fun <laughs> so fun getting up here doing what we love to do oh yeah i mean this isn't job right here this isn't work i mean it's it's living the dream as we keep saying we, <laughs> yeah. we truly are living the dream and it's because of all you guys helping us out and following us and watching us we really appreciate it absolutely so keep watching have your uh, notification bell on for when that other video uploads um that being said tight lines let's rip some lips thanks for watching guys see you on the next one